Here we are solving a word problem involving consecutive integers. So in a previous video, we did discuss consecutive integers. So you have x, x plus 2, x plus 4, and so forth for even and odd consecutives. Or if it's just regular consecutives, it's x, x plus 1, m, x plus 2, x plus 3, and so forth. So here it says we have three consecutive integers. Now it does not specify even or odd. So it's going to be this case and I need to take three of them, which means only these three terms. It says they have a sum of 45, which means the first integer plus the second integer plus the third integer should equal 45. And then if I combine my like terms, I get this equation. And if I start to subtract 3 on both sides, and then if I divide by 3 on both sides, I end up with 14. That's the first number, right? Because the first is represented by x. The second is x plus 1, the next page number. And then the next is x plus 2 which would be 14 plus 2, which is 16. And that would be the third one. Now let's see the next problem. It says two consecutive even integers have a sum of 34. So you have one page plus the second even page, which is why I have to add two, should equal 34. If I combine my like terms, I have 2x plus 2 equal to 34. If I start to solve for x, we get 16. So the first number is 16, and then 16 plus 2 is 18. And so the two numbers are 16 and 18. Now the last problem says three consecutive odd integers. So if you start off with the first integer, in order to get to the next odd number, you also have to add 2. And then to get to the next um, odd number, you have to add 2 more, which means x plus 4. So that's the three consecutive um, integers. And that sum, sum means to add, um, equals 57. So if we combine our like terms, we get 3x plus 6 equal to 57. 3x equal to 51, x equal to 17, and so that means that the first number is 17, 17 plus 2, which is 19, is the second number, and then 17 plus 4 is 21, and that's the next odd number. So there are your three integers.